As a result of a recent WordPress software update, the developers decided to make custom fields an additional feature. And as a result, they no longer show by default at the bottom of a page or post edit view. Um, it's caused a bit of confusion. It's probably why you're here. Fortunately, there's a really simple solution to re-enable them. Um, briefly, as you know, custom fields are what allow you to customize the metadata that's captured. Typically, themes default to four different types, date, author, category, and tag, although there are others. And also, your theme will usually allow you to decide which of those four are visible. For Generate Press on Niche Twins, Mike and I decided to have just the date and author shown, um, so two of the four. So let's just jump right in. The very first thing to do, as mentioned, is to manually re-enable the field so that they automatically reappear each time you go into an edit. So let's jump over to the WordPress dashboard. You'll go to Posts and then Edit. Within the Edit view, and again, this will apply for Pages as well, you'll go to the top right corner, the three ellipses dots to your Options. Scroll down to the bottom of that menu where you'll see Preferences. Select panels from the submenu on preferences, and then simply just scroll down to the additional subsection here. You'll see custom fields. So as mentioned, custom fields right now is disabled. We'll simply click the toggle button to re-enable it. And when you click enable and reload, there's a warning here. Make sure that any content you've been working on is saved. There's a risk of losing it if you don't. So we'll hit enable and reload. It's going to refresh the edit view page here. And then now when we scroll to the bottom of the page, we should see custom fields here now re-enabled. So that's one approach. An alternative approach, if you would like some additional flexibility and functionality is to <clears throat> activate the advanced custom fields plugin instead. Again, why you would do this, it has a much more user-friendly interface compared to the native WordPress feature. Uh, and again, it allows you for some appearance customization on those fields and greater flexibility in terms of the visibility of which fields are showing. So we'll head back over to WordPress and go to the WordPress dashboard. You'd go to plugins, add new, search for advanced custom fields, install now, and then be sure to hit activate as well. And then once activated, you'll see on the WordPress menu, custom fields is here. You can now select add new and you're ready to start experimenting and adding fields via a plugin instead of using the native feature within WordPress. That's it, hopefully two easy to follow workarounds. If you found it helpful, give us a like, follow, and head over to nichetwins.com for additional blogging tips and resources. Until next time.